Hello, um, I'm Maths Dave here uh, looking at calculators this afternoon. Uh, thinking ahead to the new A-level next year, most of our students use this model at the moment, the Casio FX85 GT+, which is great and does uh, you know, pretty much everything you want an A-level calculator to do at the moment. Um, so that's good. But the new A-level has a, a number of requirements that mean that this calculator just isn't going to be good enough for the new A-level. Uh, in particular, three things that we're looking at is the need to solve quadratic equations, solve definite integrals, and calculate binomial probabilities. Now, a few calculators do the first two of these things at the moment. Um, not many do all three. I have this one. I, I love this calculator, the uh, FX 9860 G2. Uh, and this will do all three of those things. This will do what, everything you need it to do. Um, and this would be a great calculator to have for the new A-level starting in September 2017. However, it will be about 70, 80 quid to buy. And I think that's really out of the price range for most of our students. So, very exciting. The new Casio FX991EX Class Wiz is about to become available in this country. I have managed to get hold of one. Um, a very nice man from Science Studio sold it to me for £21. And uh, today we're going to just open up this calculator uh, and see what's inside and maybe try out a few of those new functions. So I'll um, try to, uh, to keep the packaging and avoid slicing my hand off. We'll, uh, I'm doing this one, aren't I? We'll go around. Oh, there we go. Oh, nearly there. I am a little bit worried about my uh, hand. I do have some history of slicing through uh, my fingers at various times. There we go. Oh, we've opened it, and this is let's um, close that. This is it. The new Casio FX nine nine one EX. I appear to have cut through that bag. There we got that out. We'll keep the box. I might um I might frame that. And uh, in here we've got. A, I've managed to hack through this uh, packaging. But there are manuals in various different uh, um, languages, that's the word. Uh, I don't know what Instruktur Obslugi is. Um, there's another one. It appears that the FX570EX is a, a very similar model. There's another one. There is the user guide for the UK model. Really exciting. I'm, um, I'm not going to read any of that. Let's get rid of all that stuff. Here is the calculator. Let's turn it on. Lovely, uh, lovely shiny buttons. This uh, kind of what is it, carbon effect, I guess. Um, there we are. Um, we'll take these uh, these bits of sticky stuff and move them away. A white box. I have a, a white version of the um, the FX85 GT Plus, signed by the world famous Matt Parker. Um, but this, this one hasn't been signed by anybody. I'll, I might sign it. Uh, there, there's the calculator. Let's turn it on. Um, there we go. Uh, let's try out some of these things. So I said solve quadratic equations. Let's see if we can... Are we in maths mode at the moment? Let's put it into maths mode. I don't know what these different modes are. We'll go with, with that one. Uh, let's, let's do the uh, square root of 72... Oh, 6 root 2, it's um, simplified the third straight away for me. How lovely. Um, what else can we do? Well, let's do some of these things. Solve quadratic equations. There is a menu system on this calculator, and so if I... We've got complex numbers, change the base, matrix, spreadsheet, um, some vectors. We can scroll down. We've got equation function. Let's Let's have a look at that one. We press equals. Yeah, there we are. So let's do a polynomial of order degree 2. Uh, let's do, what, x squared plus 5x plus 6. And that tells me math error. Have I done something wrong? Oh, I've put 0x squared. What an idiot. There we are. x squared plus 5x plus 6. There we go. We've got x1 is minus 2 and x2 is minus 3. So, uh, brilliant. It's managed to solve... That equation. So that's one of the things that calculators will be expected to do in the new A-level. Let's go back. How do we get to the menu? Oh, there it is. Solving definite integrals. Um, if I go into just the straightforward calculate mode and press 
that button there, the integral one, we could do the integral of uh, x squared between the limits of 2 and 3, and it comes up as 19 over 3. Of course, what would that be? That would be x cubed over 3, and we're subbing in 3 and 2 and subtracting. So um, 27 over 3, take away 8 over 3, 19 over 3. Yeah, oh, it's right. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so that's the second thing. The third thing on my list, now this is the interesting one. This is calculate binomial probabilities. So let's go back to the menu and go to a distribution. Now this is something that you can't do on the FX85 GT Plus or the 991 GT Plus. Um, this is the only calculator that I, that I know of under about £50, maybe more that you can do this. I want to do a binomial CD, that's cumulative distribution of a binomial. This is what the tables are. Let's do a list. This is what the tables are in, in the formula booklet. So if I put in x, what should we have? x equals 5. Um, oh, 6, 7. That's probability of x being less than 5, 6 and 7. Um, I'm going to have n is 10 and p is what? 0 0.4. And that gives me, there we are, that gives me those cumulative probabilities. So the probability of x being less than or equal to 5 is 0.8337. If, uh, what did I say, if n was 10 and p was 0 0.4. You could check that if you want to in the formula booklet. That's pretty snazzy. And of course, if you get hold of one of these, you can use that in S1 uh, this year. Uh, and that would be a big help. No, no more leafing through the formula booklet. So there we go. This looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Um, there is lots more that this can do, and I, I think I'll probably come back to this at some point over the next few months as the A-level begins and look at some of the other things we can do with it. But that's a great start. Um, I did want to do one more thing. I think we could do a, a drop test with this calculator just to see how it withstands that. So um, I'm just, I'm just going to go over to window. I'll pause the video. Pick this up in a minute. Okay, I'll be right here back. we go. Calculator drop test. Got the calculator ready. Casio FX nine nine one EX. It's going out of the window. Let's see how we survive with this. So, uh, so there we go. Oh, there's, there's the calculator, and um, oh, there it goes. A bit of a bang at the bottom. Right, we're going to race down. And uh, here we are, down the stairs, and whoa, look at that, perfect, still with the case on, and uh, still working, 2 plus 3 equals 5, fantastic, no problem at all, um, absolutely perfect, this is Maths Dave doing consumer reviews for you. Seriously, I wasn't about to drop my brand new calculator uh, out of a, a first floor window, was I? Um, that was this one that fell, and, and actually, it's completely fine. Grudgingly quite impressed with this old Aurora that had passed its useful time. Um, yeah, surprised. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my Casio FX991 EX, and, uh, and that's maths. Stop the video. Yes.